Just check, check. You got me? Excellent. Good afternoon, everybody, for the fourth edition of Breeley's Brainchild City versus Country 2023. I'm your commentator this afternoon. I am joined by Samson, who's gone running away. He'll join me shortly, no doubt. But it's great to welcome you all here. I'm out on Ross Oval, the battleground for today's encounter. Just watching these city boys go through their last paces. Big shout out today to our two sponsors. Sponsoring our city team this year. Harry, Harry, thank you very much to them for their great sponsorship of our city team. Boys looking to do them proud today. And our country sponsor, The Shop Gravesend. Thank you very much to both sponsors. Without them, this event doesn't happen. I'm just going to interrupt the coach. Here's Brad, streak and destroy Hemapo. Brad, can I just get a quick a little insight how the boys looking this afternoon? The boys are looking pretty sharp at the moment. As we can see, they're going through the hands. No drop balls so far. And uh, yeah, be, if I was country, I'd be pretty scared. I, I bet they will be as well. There's your first drop ball though. Coach's curse. Can I get a score prediction from you today? Uh, 32 to us and 12 to country. 32-12 as the second drop ball goes down. We'll leave you to it, coach. Good luck to you and the city boys. We'll make our way back across the ground. Spencer Frame, Spencer Frame, Spencer, come here, Spencer. I'm gonna have a quick chat with you. Spencer, to those that don't know, the third 15 Mercurial fly half. You were hobbling around yesterday. How are you miraculously back on your feet this afternoon? Ah, uh, tape and painkillers. Tape and painkillers, fantastic. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Good luck today, Spence. We're going to beeline across Ross Oval. I see, a, I see the intimidating figure of our country coach and our second 15 coach. He's busy checking. I think he's checking his betting. Is that illegal gambling going on there? I think he's putting a bet down on the city boys to win today. That can't be right. Surely the country coach backs the opposition. We're making our way across. I don't even think the players are aware of what he's doing. I don't think he's aware of what he's doing. We're going to catch a minute with him. There's going to be a question over where his Akubra. I thought that would have been a must today. Mr. Copeland, good afternoon. Welcome to your first city versus country. How are the boys lining up today? Yeah, they're looking pretty fresh. Yep, short and sweet. I love it. I love it. And uh, what can we expect today from your country team? Uh, some good energy and a bit of physicality. Uh, they're they're up, up for everything today. So. Now, I understand that your center pairing today is a combined weight of about 250 kilos. Is that just a myth or is there some truth to that? No, there's a bit of truth to that. Mainly coming from Roman himself, but uh, between the two of them, they should have a pretty physical game. Uh, their sec the center pairing for the city team plays seconds with me and See they're a bit of a turnstile, so that's the plan. Oh, wow, no, no, no truer words said. I've got to get a score prediction. Your, your counterpart has gone 32-12 in favor of the city team. Your score prediction for us today? 24-5. Uh, to the city team or to the country team? Obviously country. Obviously country. Well, listen, good luck to you. I might just, I might just wander along here. I've already nailed one mercurial talent. I'm gonna grab Brody Ramsey, whose whole family's here in support. Brody, I'm gonna steal you. You don't warm up properly anyway, Brody. So you're a fly half, don't worry about that. Tell me, mate, you're gonna be guiding this huge back line around the park. What is your what is your game plan today? Uh, just to run through them, not over them. Run through them, not over them. I don't know if that actually is the same thing there, but anyway, not, 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 not to worry. Now your season, both club and, and school, has been going fairly well. 
Um, what's your prediction for today's result? Um, I reckon overall we'll get there. And can I get a can I get an exact score? Your coach has gone twenty four five. What do you think? Oh, probably about twenty two to twelve. Twenty two to twelve. Well, listen. Good luck out there, Brody. Enjoy yourself. All right. Now I'm going to go and look for the man of the moment, Mr. Casey Breeley. All I've got to do is follow the person with the largest country hat on. He's hiding at the back. He'll probably have a beer in his hand as well. Oh, look at that. Even some day students here come to watch. That's how popular this fixture is. Noah Verricchio on the front row. Spectating, I love to see. Gents, welcome all. Here we go, we're making our way through. Cooper, I've got to stop, stop here for a second. You got a horrible injury yesterday. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Just did the head knock us all. A brave man. What's your score prediction for me today? Uh, 30 nil to country. 30 nil to country, that's massive. Well, Cooper, it's great to see you back on your feet. Here's a big unit. John, I know you'd love to be out there playing. You're not allowed to, you're ineligible, but what's your score prediction today? Uh, 24 nil to the country skis. Another country supporter. I tell you right now, there's not going to be many supporting the city. Oh, no. I've just spotted the referee. For those that were here last year, can't believe we've brought him back. Mr. Warby, welcome, sir. Great to have you, you back. Now, listen, last year there was a lot of conversation around your bias. And being a country man, surely today we can expect a little bit more neutrality. All Rob's taken. All bribes <laughs> taken, right. So if I see you driving out with a couple of the cattle, we know exactly what's happened, is that right? That's about it, and yeah, maybe that uh, car down there would be good too. Okay, you're gonna take the Tesla as well. <laughs> Don't know if that's fit into the, to the hometown thing. Now, what are you gonna be telling the two teams today? What are you looking for? Uh, pretty basic, just clean, simple rugby. As long as they're enjoying themselves, that's the main thing. There you go. We can't say much more than that. As long as they're enjoying themselves. Mr. Warby, have a great game, sir. I'm going to keep going. There he is. I've spotted him. I've spotted the man of the moment. He's on his phone as well. He's putting tips down, no doubt. Mr. Breeley, sir, this is your baby. This is your brainchild. Fourth edition. What are you looking forward to most today? Uh, really excited to see Roman De Clara at 12. Um, an interesting experiment, and I can't wait to see the result. And any suggestion at all of your bias towards which team you're leaning towards? Is your attire today an indication of who you're supporting? Uh, born in the city, country at heart. I like that. Perfectly balanced. Lovely. Well, thank you very much for all you do, sir. Thank you. I'm just going to keep walking across here. Mr. Tinsey, soccer man by heart, but here, as always, with his family. Mr. Tinsey, sir. Can I get a prediction for you today? Are we going to be back in the city boys or the country boys? Uh, I think we've got country up by seven. Big Dan Yenny to get over first try. There you go. So I th we're getting very specific here. Dan Yenny to rumble over for the first score. All right. Well, I'll, I'll go quiet for a moment and let you all enjoy yourselves as the boys warm up.
You know out here in Tennessee, baby, we keep them long, bumpy roads. It ain't nothing but a thing. Let's go. I got my man Hoja bringing me all the way up to Indiana, baby. Let's show them how we get down on these back roads. Come on. It's been a long, bumpy road. K5, sitting high, living the 
Okay, we are getting closer and closer to kickoff. I hope we're all enjoying ourselves well watered and whistled up there in the supporters crowd. Again, just want to acknowledge and thank our sponsors today. Firstly, our city team sponsored by Harry Harry. Thank you so much for your generous sponsorship. And then to our country sponsor, the shop Gravesend. Thank you to both sponsors for your very generous support. As I've said, this event doesn't happen without you. So thank you again. Coaches ramping up the physicality. Soon to head back into the sheds. Coach has called last one. I might just try and grab Daniel Yenny if I can just have come here. Don't, don't you look at me like that. Daniel, I've just got Mr. Tinsey's prediction. He's gone with a country victory. He's gone with you scoring the first meat pie of the game. What are your predictions for today? Oh, well, I predict a uh, scoreline of 20 to nil, so yeah, country. And do you think there's a chance of you getting over the line today? Uh, definitely, sir. Definitely, sir. I love it. Well, you get back inside your show team. Only the finest, finest changing rooms for our country boys. City look like they're just lying down. Probably waiting for someone to come and serve them some sort of afternoon tea. The grandstands filling up. Perfect, perfect day for our fourth edition of City versus Country. All things tied up for those that are attending your very first City versus Country. It is all square on the ledger. We've had a we've had a victory for City we've, last year. We've had a victory for Country the year before, and we started with a draw. So somebody today, well, unless we draw again, which would be very very dull. Um, there'll be a victor today, I'm sure. I'm going to quickly grab the skipper of the city team, Ethan McNamara. Mate, you are looking lean, mean, fighting machine. What are your final words that you're going to give to your city boys when you go back into the sheds? Uh, as I said in the interview, you know, it's just really important we prove to ourselves that, you know, we're tougher than these guys. You know, that's the... That's the, um, the, the novel, the narrative at the moment that the country boys are tough, but we're going to show them up today. So, yeah, can't wait. Well, very best of luck. I'll let you go back in and get your massage, cold towels, and everything else that you city boys will enjoy, no doubt, whilst our country boys worry about chaffage from the straw that they're lying amongst. We really are getting very close to kickoff. We see the referee discussing under the post with the touch judges. Surely we're going to make the touch judges take off their very biased hats. Okay, if I can gather the full attention of everybody here spectating today. Thank you so much for joining us on Father's Day. Can I please acknowledge all our fathers and all the special men in our lives. I hope you've had a very nice day and you've been spoiled by your loved ones. I'd like to share a little something with you today. If I just have your full attention and break that beautiful conversation as we just listen to this. So I've got a bit of poetry that was found by John Sear, our museum curate himself. Apparently this was found on an exercise book written in 1997. Written by Chad GPT Birkenstock. I'd ask you all just to enjoy this as we set the scene for this great encounter. In the heart of the city, where lights never fade, city slickers chase dreams in a bustling parade. With ambition in their eyes and hustle in their stride, they navigate the urban maze where life's currents collide. But out in the country, where the landscape is wide, boys from the bush find solace in nature's guide. With hands that toil the soil and hearts open wide, they forge connections with land where values reside. 
city slickers and bush boys, different paths they tread, one in suits and ties, the other in hats on their head. Yet fate intertwines as they cross each other's ways, sharing stories and perspectives in the warmth of friendship's rays. Boarding school's tapestry woven with care, Nudgy College's legacy both city and country share. Boys from different backgrounds united by the same goal, to learn, to grow, and to nurture the soul. Ross Oval's green fields, where they all stand united. City slickers and bush boys, friendships ignited. Rivalries may spark, but common ground they find as they play, as they laugh, as they leave youth behind. City and country, mates in a blend, from different worlds they come together, my friend. Nudgy College's story, Ross Oval's embrace, a testament to unity in life's diverse chase. And this weekend ahead, a battle takes flight, city versus country in the sporting arena's light. On Ross Oval's green expanse, they'll compete with heart, city slickers and bush boys in a rivalry to impart. But beyond the scores and regardless of the victor's crown, it's the bond between them that will truly go down. For in unity and friendship, they find common ground, city and country together, forever renowned. Okay, now it gives me great pleasure to announce the starting teams, and then we'll call our, our, our two teams out. Firstly, our city team, sponsored by Harry Harry. Number one, Sam Haynes. Number two, Tom Haynes. Three, Harry Ferguson. Four, James Maxa. Five, Damon Andel. Six, Ned Clark. Seven, Jack Ball. Eight, Zeke Waters. Nine, Will Boddington. 10, Spencer Frame. 11, John Fitzgerald. 12, Artie Cruz. 13, and captain, Ethan McNamara. 14, Sean Lay. And 15, Jack McBride. Coming off, off the fine chairs here, finishers for the city team. Number 16, Will Stone. Number 17, Isaac Parker. 18, Robbie Hopkins. And number 19, Sam Long. And now our country team, sponsored by the shop Gravesend, number one, Genji Sato, number two, Clint Blennerhassett, three, Jack Vies, four, Archie Wilson, five, Harry Wright, six, Lawson Dennis, seven, Daniel O'Sullivan, eight, Daniel Yenny, nine, Harry Waldron, 10, Brody Ramsey, 11, Luke Pinney, 12, Roman DeClara, 13, Zach Wapow, 14, Ben Mills, and at 15, Miles Armstrong, our finishers for the country boys, 16, Hunter Stanford, 17, Luke Hall, 18, Joe Kenny, 19, Will Hick, and number 21, Oliver Muller. Ladies and gentlemen, there are our two teams. Can we give them both a huge round of applause? Two minutes until our players come out, two minutes.
one more drink or one more Bacardi, one more dance at this after party. We still going, going strong. Speed so fast, I like a Ferrari. We get wild, I like on Safari. We still going, going strong. And all of these good things, good things, good things. All we need, good things, good things, good things. Till now we go all night long. We party like Post Malone. Don't tell me to go. Oh, oh. Yeah, we are never, ever going home tonight. Ain't nobody kill my fight. Don't tell me to go. Oh, oh. Yeah, we are never, ever going home. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment we've all been waiting for. I'd ask you to make a huge amount of noise. Our 2023 City Boys! And right now, Babylon, they're on my case. People in a show. All lined in a row. We just push on by. It's funny how hard we try. Take a moment. And their opponents, hailing from the deep reaches of the show team vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our country boys! <laughs> Passing out hundred dollar bills and it kills and it thrills like the horns on my Silverado grill. And I buy the bar a double round of crown and everybody's getting down in this town. Ain't never gonna be the same. Cause I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city. Your Escalator, your Freak Parade I'm the, I'm the only, only John Wayne left in this town When I saddle up my horse And I ride into the city I make a lot of noise Ladies and gentlemen, our combatants are on the field City versus Country 2023 I'm going to go join Samson for a little bit of commentary
Now I'm here with Samson Nawi. Samson, you played in this fixture last year. What's your what feelings are going through these boys' minds at this moment? Um, it'll be a tough start with um, country, I reckon. Um, they'll probably just, they'll probably like, um, probably stuff around with a bit with the city boys, but then they'll probably make the forwards, city forwards work a bit until they get fatigued, like we did last year, and then probably Komaz and Zach Powell and Danny Yeni scoring the first try of the game. There we go, and we're off. Kick off by our city boy, here's Jack. Oh, good carry. Right up the guts. Bit of pressure on first five, Brody Ramsey. Genji Sato plays nine with a little rumble. Working to some shape, no doubt. Oh, it's turned over. Here's Will Bonington. Oh, it's a good ball. Adi. Spencer on the wraparound. Oh, hit. And into touch. For what will be our first line out. A nice start by the City boys. Good defense. Again, big shout out to our sponsors today. Our City sponsors, Harry Harry. And our country sponsors, The Shop, Gravesend, thank you as always for your great support. City steal the line out. Oh, show and go. It's on here. Oh, he's the City boys in the early ascendancy. Go back the same way. Oh, a little offload, juggled. Oh, he's caught a forward pass and a knock on. Just one decision, um, the referee, just one. Mr. Brad Hemipo looking very casual on the sidelines today. He's in Birkenstocks. His bench have already got the uh, power aid. I don't know what they've done to earn those. Will Stone hasn't even done anything yet. He was walking through the warm-up. Oh, we went uncontested scrums there. Brody Ramsey, lovely exit. Here you go, Jack McBride inside. Big run by Zeke. Will Boddington back the same short side. Slight fumble, but they're on the front foot. Here goes Ainsey. Oh, good carry. Great tackle. Genji over the ball. Surely he's lying all over that ref. He's tired already. Got a hit. Knock on, they'll play some advantage. Here goes Benny Mills. Now, this guy's got wheels. Here he goes. Oh, loose carry. Is that advantage over? No, he calls that back. Let him go, ref. Let him go. Came here to watch rugby, not you. Even in that jersey. Still, look at that. Mr. Hemapo hasn't even flinched. He's a rock on this sideline here. No, I think we just got a smile from him, Banjo. Here we go. Ramsey, drop it short. No, he's gone wide. We're pow. Oh, oh is that high? Way. Ref plays it. That's a Jack Ball destroys the country defense. They've turned it over. Oh, oh, no. I think the grandstands show how they feel. Oh, there's a bit, of, a bit of niggle already. Not surprised to see Ned Clark there in the, in the midst of that. <laughs> Calm down, Neddy. 
Now here's the interesting, Genji Sato, the loose head prop is taking the line out. Clint, the skipper, oh, he shouldn't be taking it. <laughs> that Strong carry. Oh, slight knock on. Samson, what's your thoughts on the first first few minutes between the two teams? What do you see out there? Um, well, countries had a very slow start. City, city, the city boys have shown a bit of massive impact. But I reckon um, if Genji actually works really hard this half, he'll put the boys through with Danny Yenny or Zach will power through for a first try. Oh, well, here we go. Here's a chance. We know Ben can fly. Jack's under a bit of pressure, but he covers it. Oh, that's touched. That's touched. Here goes fullback Miles Armstrong. This kid's got dancing shoes as well, but he knocks it on. Butterfingers, they call him. Oh, look at this. Forwards that like to play the ball. Spency frame. He would. They're away. No! That's a forward pass. You've got to keep up with play, ref, to make that call. Ramsey drops it inside to Declara. There's his first run. He wasn't held. He gets up and goes again. Strong carry from the inside center. Here goes Daniel O'Sullivan. Good carry. Country boys working their way into this game now. Oh, another knock on, though. Tell you what, the country is stodgy as a meat pie right now. Now, Samson, if I'm not mistaken, weren't you officially made manager of this country team? Uh, I didn't really know I was the manager until some of the country boys told me about it. Okay. Oh, here comes the coach. Thank you. He's bribing me now. Uh, Mr. Silcock, what's your thoughts on um, number 14, Sean Lay? playing on the wing I think that if I was his opposite wing I'd be absolutely scared out of my mind I think he's a strong boy and if they get that ball in his hands there'll be a bit of trouble well done Talis <laughs> commentary at Nudgy sponsored by Pepsi Just come and joined here on my left by the great man Fabio Westfall, <laughs> hardest worker oh. around <laughs> us. Fabio, what's your take on things? Can you give me a thumbs up for country or city? We're going country. Another penalty. No one minds bad calls, ref, as long as you're consistent. Zach Wapow with the offload. Oh. Miles going backwards. He's not had a great start, Miles. Don't get up, mate. No, he <laughs> is. Look at that. That's resilience for you. Get your hands on it. Harry Waldron. Big Yenny, here he goes. A good one meter carry. Brody with a show and go. Big hit on him. Oh, 
Oh, that, is that the skipper it is? Clint with the carry around the corner. Here goes Jack. Rambo Ramsey with his sideline commentary. He's not listening to you, Rambo. Look at that. All sorts of trouble. What's that for? Come on. Let him play, son. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. This, is, this could be it. Zach Wapow, Jack McBride gets him. They're on the boat. He's got a release. Oh. What the? The most exciting moment of the game, Zach Wapow. We love you, Zach. Oh, that's a big hit. Skipper runs through. They're within a few meters of the line. There's numbers. If Brody gives it, round the court. Oh, Sean's wrapped him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. He's not coaching from the referee. From the uh, no coaching, please. <laughs> What's he called? Goal line dropouts. Great defense by the City boys. Oh, they're on here. They're on here. Go, Adi. He's in, he's in front of the line. What's he going to play here? Going to make him do it again. Scrum five. Country ball. Now, before, in the lead up to the game, country coach Mr. Copeland said he had an array of scrum plays. Let's see what they come up with here. Mr. Tinsey called a number eight pickup. There he goes, big Dan Yenny. Oh, great tackle. He's all over that. A little skirt, there's Ramsey. Another show and go and he's wrapped up again. Definition of insanity, keep doing the same thing over and over again. There goes Wapow. He's close. He's given it. The opening score to number 13. Five nil, two, country. Kick to Thank come. you, Banjo. Coach is allowing a little bit of water to go on, but he was very clear they only got two bottles. I wonder if that's a strategy by our city coach. Their water sponsored by Evian. Thank you, Evian, for their water all the way from Switzerland. So for footy doubles purposes, our try scorer, first try scorer was number 13. So if you've got the 13 ticket, you're half the way to a big prize. The prize is an evening out with Mr. Breeley on his tab as well. Here goes Brody Ramsey with the nudge. He's not got the legs. It falls short and it remains 5-0. Samson City started as slick as this Tesla in front of us, but the country boys have grounded, light, grounded out and take the first score. How do the City boys get back into this? Um, they really can't, I reckon, because they've got nothing against our forwards in the middle. And also we've got Big Dan Yenny as well. Um, they just have to work their way around the edges. Should have you coaching the City boys, not Mr. Hemapo. Thank you for that insight, Samson. Big shout out to Talis Maloney here next to me as well, who provided the comment. Oh, no. If country have got rolling subs, surely Genji's getting rolled at this point. <coughs> it goes out wide. Strong carry in the midfield. They lock that ruck down. Good slick ball, frame on the inside. Adi takes it to the line. Oh, that's a strong carry. I can't see what number. Who's that? Who have we got there? 
Jack Hall with a strong carry. Spencer again pulling the strings. It's on out here. Ethan McNamara. It's gone backwards. Damon Andel with the carry. There's numbers out to the side. Hands might do it. Spencer looks up, fires it. Adi in the gap. And there is the return. What lovely football by the City boys. The country boys stuck in the mud. The City slickers across the tarmac. It's 5-4 with the kick to come. Ten minutes left. It's a four. It's thirty minutes high. Oh, missed it. He missed the key. And Adi fails to convert his own try, and the teams are locked up at five all. Can someone get some water for the referee? He looks like he's on his last legs. Brody Ramsey to kick off to restart the game. Taken in the midfield. Oh, love. Oh, he's dropped the pill. It's, it's the animal noises from the grandstand getting into the head of the young man. Here goes the scrum. Genji packing down at hooker. Genji tells us in the pre-match that he is 115 kilos of pure muscle. Let's see what he can do here. Ramsey again drops it short. Lovely low chop on the monstrous Roman De Clara. City boys retain it. Good line speed. Slow ball. Comes on the short side. Nice attack. Is he a little isolated? No. Boys are there again. Archie, right. It's a long way down for that fella. Oh, it's a great turn. No ref. They go short. Ramsey, show and go again. Advantage being played. Here goes the danger man. Chips it over the top. Millsy gets up, but it's taken cleanly by John Fitzgerald, but they go back a to a penalty up front. Will they take the kick? Or go for the kick. Coach is yelling for go for the corner. It's a challenging kick for this fella. They're not, they're tapping it short. Here goes the big unit. Oh, that's a contact. Round the corner, nice low tackle. He's all over that. There's, they got it. Can't see who that is. Is that Lawson? Can't see who's got that turnover, but City boys have the ball back. Hardy with his magic left foot. That's a lovely nudge up the sideline. Taking the City boys back into the country paddock. Warming up. City subs going for a warm up. It's the first time that Will Stones ran today. 
Thanks for joining us, Will. Oh, that slick ball off the top. Straight. Oh. Talis joining me on the mic now. Talis, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Talis, what's your take on these uncontested scrums? Some would say that it's against the very... Oh, hello. Ooh, oh, no. I just barely gave that one. Yeah, uncontested scrums, Talis. I know you're a, a back, but what's your take on these two giant packs just leaning against each other? Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of parents out here came all this way and, you know... I kind of don't really think it's in the name of the game to do uncontested scrums, you know. It's not league, it's union. But I'd know, suggest it's, it's it was right. a city call. Didn't fancy scrummaging today, the city boys. Yeah. I heard oh. the country boys were actually scrumming against cows. So, you know, I wouldn't want to push against them either. No, fair enough. Oh, here we go. Look <laughs> at this. This is straight out of the... Oh, oh what? How can we have a short arm from an uncontested scrum? Yeah. <laughs> Pushing early well, how? Oh, doing a tap. Hang on. Here we go. Zachwa Pau. Another little deaf chip over the, the top. Thing. That's meant for Luke. Oh. Oh. Luke scoops it inside, but it's right into the hands of a city boy. That looks a little high. Ref lets it go. That's a great carry. Back in the pocket. Ardy puts them all on side. Miles goes across to cover. It's a lovely nudge. What's he going to do here? He's going to run it. He's going to run it. Has he got support? He does. Brody. Oh. High tackle. Slightly over-exuberant City player, Brody Ramsey goes to... Oh, that is ugly shank right in the hands of Sean. Here goes... Oh, hello. Lifted off his feet, but we'll ignore that. City retain the ball. What can they do? It's a loose carry, picked up by Dan Yenny's. Carried well. Taken down by Ned Clark, who goes at the ball but can't take it. It's in the pocket. There goes. It's not gone out. Were they even back on side, those players, ref? We'll let that one go as well. There goes Harry Ferguson. Back in the pocket. Spencer Frame calling the shots into the hand of the try scorer, Ardy. Looking out wide, it's John. They've retained the ball. Here goes Zeke. He's found a pocket of space. He goes through as he's in support. He is. Oh, Ned Clark drops it cold. Drops it cold. And country have a chance to clear their lines. Brody Ramsey comes down the short side. And that's a great nudge into touch. We'll take the line out. Is this the South African team we see here, Mr. Copeland? We're changing four forwards in the first half. Samson, this country boys have gone to the bench very early. What's your take on that? Is that tactical? Is it tiredness from the country boys? Why do you think the coach has made those calls so early in the game? 
Um, I reckon it's just because the country was a bit bit tired. Had a long game yesterday against Tuma Grandma. But um, we'll walk from it from there. Well, let's see what impact they can make. Here goes City. There's McNamara into the hole. Missed by Ramsey. Missed by Armstrong. And there's the second City score to the skipper, Ethan McNamara. Falling off tackles. And City take the lead. How many water bottles are going out this time? He's allowing one, two, six water bottles this time. The coach is happy. All right, five bottles. Coach is not going to allow six yet. And Samson, knowing that uh, this game will be being broadcast on numerous channels all the way around the world, can you just give our friends over in Finland who will be watching this just a sense of what the conditions are like today for the players? Uh, today the weather's like 40 degrees, a bit windy, um, pretty sunny this afternoon. 26 degrees. And yeah, a um, bit, of, bit of breeze just passing by. I think, and there we are. The referee actually called that at half time, so at half time. Did they get that kick? I don't know if Andy got that kick. And as we go to the halftime break, we'll call that 10-5 to the city. Two tries to one. Great half by both teams. Let everyone enjoy a drink and a moment to themselves. And we are absolutely privileged this afternoon to be joined by the award-winning Cattle Club. So can we all, I think, I think we're allowed to, can we all just recognize and thank our Cattle Club members for bringing these fine specimens up here. Great job, gents. Thank you for joining us today. What beautiful specimen. I'm gonna try and find the man of the hour as well, Mr. Troy Reynolds. Where's Troy? Here we are, Troy, if I can just ask you to come down, sir. I don't think I need to ask you which team you're supporting today. I'm sure you've got country stamped on you somewhere, but tell us a little bit about the Cattle Club and these young men and these fine specimens that have come up this afternoon. Yeah, so we've got some cattle here um, that are being shown from all over, um, north and sort of south coast, down from Casino, up from Rocky. Rocky. Um, we've got some Brahmins out the front there with the short horn. As we come back the, down the line, we've got our Brafords, which we're breeding, um, working with their breeders quite closely. Um, and then right at the back there, we've got our nice little steer. So um, he'll be going to a very good home in Ecker. I think some people will be very happy to see him. Um, no, we're really impressed. Um, the Cattle Club runs to basically bring that country connection here for the boys, teach them about agriculture, um, career opportunities, um, and educate them in just another way that uh, I guess you don't get at a lot of other schools. So. 
It's just a good thing to be able to do. A fantastic thing, Troy. Can we have a round of applause, applause, please, for Troy and all that he does with our young men in the Cattle Club? Troy, you had some great success at the Echo. We'd like to say a little bit about that. I know it's a showpiece and a sort of culmination of a lot of hard work for yourself and all the boys. Tell us a little bit about the Echo. Yeah, so we had a good run at the Echo. Um, we're in there for the first um, week with beef, obviously beef judging. Um, in the second week, we, re we represent the large breeds um, that remain for the public. Um, the public week obviously is hectic. Um, we had obviously yeah, 60,000 people through the door most days. Uh, it was a lot to manage. Animals did really well and we couldn't be more proud of our boys. They represented us perfectly. Um, our juniors took out some young judging ribbons and yeah, most of our cattle came back with ribbons which is pretty good considering the competition that's at the Echo. Well, I, you did a fantastic job. They look outstanding. I guess the one question I've got for you, Troy, how heavy is the heaviest cow here in front of me? Uh, this short horn um, right here that's coming in second, um, as he comes around, he's 930 kilo. Um, he's probably got another 200 kilo to go before we'll uh, be where we want him to be for the, the sale next year. But yeah, he's probably the heaviest. Everything from there would be around about 500, down to a little Braford bull here just on 380, but not bad for five months old. Um, yeah. So 900 kilos the heaviest. I still think that's a little bit lighter than the, than the center pairing of Wapau and Declara. So the country boys have got it. Troy, thank you so much for joining us and thank all your young men and the cattle as well. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Once more, a round of applause, please, for Troy Reynolds and all these young fellas, the great job they do with the cattle club. I'm going to make my way back to the box as the second half has got underway already. City leading 10-5. Brody Ramsey here slicing through and again poor hands let the country boys down before i actually make my way to the box i might just get a little bit of an insight from the two coaches at the halfway point mr hemapo is almost trying to get onto the field mr hemapo sir your team are up 10-5 you went 5-0 down but you've clawed it back with two well worked tries what are your thoughts at the half halfway point I think we're coming out, uh, we're going to get them out wide, um, we've got a bit of speed on the edges, so uh, I'm really happy with our defence, a few big shots going on. We have seen you limiting the water going out today, even on a hot day, is that a deliberate ploy or are you just a very hard ta harsh taskmaster? Uh, oh, here we go. Sorry, I've caught him out here, a great break by Artie, Harry, well brought down. Back. I'll leave, I'll leave you to it. Keep it going. Congratulations on a great first half. Another knock on. I'm going to walk my way past the hay bales. Some forlorn looking country boys, tired looking country boys. Mr. Copeland, you're working further and further away from your team. Are you now sort of putting city colours on or you still got great hope in your country boys to get back into this? Yeah, definitely. The country boys look good. Just got to find their rhythm. They've taken a, a good half to get into it, but um, you know, like the Tesla and the tractor here, which one's going to come home stronger? One will run out of energy. Let, let's hope they do. Now, you made a number of changes during the first half. What was your thinking behind that? I uh, just kept the legs fresh. They're country boys, so they, they go hard pretty quickly and then we'll die out a bit there, so. Go hard quickly and tire hard quickly. Is that what you were trying to say? Yeah, but if you have a second win, it's fine, right? It is indeed. All right, well, good luck for the second half. I might just catch a quick player interview. Daniel O'Sullivan. Dan, you are just being rested before you go back out. What was your take on the first half? Uh, city skills showed, many drops, balls. Country boys just need to get their ticker back and run them over. It's 10-5 at the moment to the City boys. What's your prediction on how the second half's going to go? Uh, country will put two more on and uh, City will be quiet. Okay, well, good luck, mate, when you get back out there. Thank you for your time now. I'm going to go back to Dan Yenny here. He's got number eight on his back. I've spoken to him once. He didn't get the first meat pie, but you carried well. Dan, what, what's your take on the first half? What are you going to try and do when you get back on the field? Uh, pretty tough game in the first half. Um, probably the second half, we just need to just execute the simple things like comms and passing and that's all. Well, good luck when you get back out there. I'm going to walk my, work my way across to Lawson. Lawson, six on your back today. Combative as always, but at the moment, a little bit ineffective. 
What's your take on things? What do you think the country boys need to do to get themselves back in this game in the second half? Catch the ball. <laughs> I, 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 th I think you've uh, given the best advice possible. Don't worry, Spencer Fair, I'm not coming back to you anyway, not after that first half performance. I'm just going to go across this city bench here. Gents, you're up. 10-5. How do you feel at the halfway point? Pretty good. What, what do you think City have got at the moment that's seeing them so successful over the country boys? Oh, just better players in general. <laughs> better players in general. I like that. Now, listen, so there's been some commentary here that whichever City boy gets man the match drives home with his Tesla behind. Is that actually true or just a rumor? I'm hoping. You're hoping. All right. Well, Mr. Breely might be in charge of that one. All right. We'll get back to the box. Good luck to everybody. Brody Ramsey's away. Has he got the pace? Jack McBride. Jack McBride brings him to the ground. He's well supported though. A little dart. Could that turn the tide? Here goes Benny Mills. He's probably the quickest player on this, on this field. But running sideways isn't going to help him. Ball inside, intercepted again. Oh, Touchy's got his flag up. Samson, what was your thoughts on the first half? City leading 10-5. What do country have to do to get back in this game? I think the country just to find like short, give give more short balls inside of Zach Power or even Raman De Clara, and um, mostly walk around walk around the edges with um, John Fitzgerald because he's got nothing on Ben Mills or Miles Armstrong. I mean Armsweek, sorry. There you go. From the words of a bit of a speedster himself, advice to our country boys oh a little bit of afters there territory kick but dangerous to this man here he goes miles the hot stepper armstrong but he kicks again a lot of kicking in this game keep the ball in hand oh he's gone down the shore side Haynes, he's had a run this is a great run 10 meters made hard yards Oh, a little nudge. Miles Armstrong not back in position. Oh, Bono, oh. Bono misses oh. that. Framey, mate, when are you getting on? Back in the pocket. Ramsey clears. That's a great clearance kick. Spectacular crowd here today. Beautiful weather. What a way to spend Father's Day. Panna is a little bit slow to go back to his position. Late call up Panna was. Shout out to him. Little preparation. Ooh, pressure on the throw here of young Hainsey. Great ball. Robbie Hopkins at 10. Panna with the tip. It's gone backwards. Play on. Stone clears it up. No, he's caught it forward. Spencer Frame returning to the field. Jack McBride coming off. And Damon Arndall coming back on the field. 
Who's Damon coming on for? Big Harry Ferguson having a spell. The man himself from the Spook Me, Guru. And Zach Wapau goes down by Sean Lay. Sean Lay with a big hit. Just put him in a very, bin, I reckon. That's a very big hit. And we'll just make sure that Zach's okay. Two of the closest friends. We're going to need first aid, please. I reckon just take Sean Lay off for some massive shoulders, to be honest. But, but was it a good, good we are going to go up to the television match official. Craig Warby, you're on the main screen. Yes. Well done, Zach. Good work. He'll go for an HIA test. And Lawson returns to the field. There'll be a bit of a reshuffle here. Like to see how the ref's going to restart this. Did the ref see actually anything in that tackle? No, he's happy with that. We're going to play a scrum to restart. Tom Haynes having a spell. Tom, give us a wave. Tommy, give us a wave. Donuts from, from the hooker. Oh, Sam, sorry. Sam, give us a wave. Oh. McNamara again. Great footwork at the line. Here goes Mr. Breeley. He's just done his work. <laughs> Lovely ball. Lovely ball. N oh, no, no, no. Pass. I'm literally in line with that, Mr. Warby. Yeah, Even the hoppers here who are sat next to me saw that as flat, and they couldn't get more country than this family. Come on, Sally. You know it. <laughs> Here goes another uncontested scrum. They're not even packed down. Lovely kick. Oh, and oh, Oliver oh, Muller's oh. chasing it down. Spent a frame with a footwork in a bid. Ankle breaking footwork. Ned Clark a little slow back to the play, but they've cleared to touch. <laughs> Samson's going to take the mic and rove a little for us. Maybe go and catch a word with Zach Wapow, make sure he's still in one piece after the, the hit of the century from Sean Lee. Meanwhile, Genji with the line out. Oh, picked off by Ned Clark. Robbie Hopkins to frame in at 15 now. Here goes Adi. This kid's got wheels. Look at him go, he's bursting through a little chip, it's on. It's on. Oh, great cover. Great cover. Benny Mills. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, great. Cl What's the ref going to call here? 
slight knock on on the floor. Clean contest, but a slight knock on. Um, I'm here with Zach with Powell. Um, mate, what happened? Uh, Shawnee dog shot, dog shot at me. What's your thoughts on Sean Lay playing um, in the city team and not country? Uh, pretty dog. It's from the, from the country, yeah. You reckon to get back on for the last 10, five minutes? Yeah, nah, I'm gone. <laughs> Mate, what about for um, Naji Rugby? You reckon to be playing against TSS this next, uh, following weekend? I'm gone. I'm gone. All right, then. Well, that's Zach with Powell. Thank you to Zach and thank you to Samson. I might keep him roaming around. Apologies to all our, spect our fans and spectators. When he says a, a dog shot, he obviously doesn't mean that. Nice, fair contest between our city and country boys, I'm sure. Country on the, tur on the attack. Lovely run. Carving into the city 22. Is this the chance for the country boys to strike back? It's a knock on. It's a lovely little box kick. Panna leading the chase. What's Miles going to do? Those players have got to stop moving forward. They're all offside. Sam Long with a chance to make a name for himself. He's got Sean outside him. Sean for the corner. Sean for the corner. One minute he's nailing people. The next he's scoring. City take a 15-5 lead. And exactly as their coach said, they'd get them on the edge. Country go to the bench. Jack McBride will line up this kick. 15 in on the 22. City leading 15-5. The country boys a little forlorn under the post there. Who's going to lead this fight back? Who's going to be the shepherd? Jack McBride. Oh, look at that. Score moves out to 17 points to 5. A slow wander back through the paddock, through the country boys. Clint starts the jog. The skipper wants to lead his bulls into battle. Brody Ramsey tried a lot of things today, this young kid. Takes the ball. What's he got? Armstrong and Genji walk to the bench for a spell. Well done, Genji. Genji, give us a wave, mate. Oh, hang on. There's no arms in that. <laughs> We've got Hunter Stanford oh, just limping happened. away. I don't know what happened. Oh, Country with a roll on. We might have to go back and look at this. He calls a penalty. Got to roll away. Is the touch he got his flag up? No, he's wearing a hat, so that means he's country. It's a tap from De Clara. A lovely chop tackle, though, by McNamara. Can they hold them out? Will the city high rise be smashed by this country bulldozer? Can't see who's got this. Country still have it, I think, just. And, country goes and the over. country boys get over. Just being told that the TMO is not working. The budget wasn't enough for a TMO. Samson's commentary was far too expensive. So they're going to get away with that one country. And the score's back to 17-10. Brody Ramsey with the kick to come.
Oh, he's pushed it wide. Now, how critical is that going to be? The score remains 17-10. That's going to be pretty critical. It's probably about 10 minutes to go. Can the ref give us a little symbol? How long, ref? Oh, he's glanced at his watch, but he's not going to let on. Here they go. McBride with a kickoff. Oh, that's pressure. That's pressure. Come on, country. Mr. Silcock, what's your thoughts on um, Brody Ramsey's um, passing games today? Oh, look, as I said before, I think Brody's endeavoured well. A few little kicks, a few show and goes, some passing. He's tried everything. Probably not all come off, but he's a young, young 10, given a chance today. Start of his career. I still have a real issue with this uncontested scrums. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we bat on. Held at the base. Here goes Ramsey. This time he goes through the hands. Muller off his right, off his left foot, off his left again. Country retain the ball. Flat to the line, great line speed. Archie, oh, oh is he on? he's on it. No, Harry gives up on that, lifting to the ref, off his left. Here goes Roman again. He's coming into the game this second half. That's a strong carry. Little isolated. Ball's loose, play on. No, referee's seen something there that we haven't. Another good carry. Great clean out by Dan Yenny coming into this game. Luke Hall on the burst. Ball's turned over. He's going back to the advantage. What's he called there? Hands in the ruck, I think. What are they going to do? They're going to go for the line out. Brody will find touch. That's a good nudge. Now Genji's off the field. So who's taking the line out? Is Clint going to step up? He's got two on his back. Pretty sure we've got Joe Kenny throwing the ball for the country boys. Thank you, Samson. Yep, Joe Kenny wanders across. Big shout out today to all our first 15 players on their success in Toowoomba. Our oh, ball goes over the top. It's picked up by the City boys. It's on out here. Jack McBride, there's a hole. Ethan McNamara. Luke has him. It's a loose pass. Does he overplay his hand? Great defense. Another line out. Can Joe Kenny get this one right? Two in a row and he might be heading back for the pine. Joe Kenny doesn't even realize he's even taking the line. That tape around his head must be very tight. Big shout out there. Archie Wright's going the other way. Tallest guy on the field, but not being used in the line out. Oh, and Dan Yenny on the run. Steps inside one, steps through Panna. Big run. Oh, they've got oh, a little offload there. It's nice. Country showing the array of skills. Good double tackle by City Boys, but it's retained. Skipper Clint Blennerhassett with the carry from the base. Ramsey again. Nice miss out. Ned Clark shoots on the line. Oh, it's knocked on. Referee's going to give them the option. No, he's not. He was happy with the pass. It's a line out. <laughs> Big Harry Ferguson's going to take this. I'll tell you what's confusing for the commentators. The monstrous prop with the deft touch of a hooker now. Here we go. 
Archie, Archie makes his way back. It's a trick play. But it's worked. City retain the ball. Little chip over the top. Into the hands of Harry Wright. The Harry Wright. Here's big Archie Wilson. That's a great carry. Oh, the ball's ripped. It's turned over. What can City do with this? Turnover ball. It's back in the pocket. Spencer frame. They're all on. Been right reliably informed there's about 10 minutes to go. If it's not, I blame my son. Score 17 10. Again, big shout out to our sponsors today for City, that's Harry Harry. And for our country team, sponsored by the shop Gravesend. Again, huge thanks to both our major sponsors. Really appreciate your support. De Clara on the drop ball, strong run. The crowd get excited every time this kid gets the ball. Oh, another knock on. It's killing, killing the country folk. It's gone backwards. And that was a knock on. Oh, oh no, there wasn't 10 to go. There was about a minute to go. And City are our champions. Big congratulations to our City boys. Victorious in 2023. 17 to 10, they retain the trophy and etch their names in folklore. Songs will be sung, tales told of this victorious city crew. We'll make our way down to the ground, Samson. Oh, it's some esteemed company here. Mr. Mara is here. Welcome, sir. Can I just, what did you think of, of the game? We, city or country boy at heart? I would have thought you were a country boy at heart. Country boy at heart, absolutely. Disappoint disappointed. Disappointed. Can't well, pretend. Can't pretend, indeed. Thank you so much for coming today. Oh, here's our first aid. Jenny, you were kept quiet today. Jenny, you must be happy with that. Samson, let's go down. Oh, might catch a word with the organizer himself, Mr. Breeley. He'll be disappointed. Here's the referee. Well done, ref. Another fine performance. Congratulations. Any, any word for the, all the millions watching at home and our spectators here today? Uh, no, just a good game of footy. Kept the border boys off the streets for the day. Yeah. No, very good. And uh, you did your best to keep country in the game for as long as you could, but in the end, even your great charms couldn't see them over the line. No, all joking aside, thank you so much, as always, for your great work. I appreciate it. Can we please show a round of applause, please, for our referee, Mr. Craig Warby. Thank you very much for your time, sir. No worries at all. Mr. Breeley, very quickly, your country boys didn't get up and don't now try and claim to be City, OK? What's your, what's your comment on the game? Well, born in Melbourne City, so I'm very, very excited to see the City boys win. Of course he is. Of course he is. All right, let's head out onto the ground. The two teams, exactly what this is all about. Two teams now bonding together, city and country united. For all those in attendance, can we show a huge appreciation, please, for both sets of players, coaches, and all the people that have made a massive effort today. Congratulations to all.
Say I'm old manager. Congratulations to all. I'm going to try and find the winning captain, Ethan McNamara. Can I just grab you one second before you go racing off? Ethan. You called it before the game. Your boys are victorious. Yeah. You've gone back to back. What are your thoughts? How are you feeling straight after the game? So, so they they are yeah. Credit to the the country boys. They're they're definitely tough, but yeah, incredibly proud of my guys today. They um they did well. You know we 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 came out here. And we did what we wanted to do, and we proved to ourselves that you know we're tough too. So. Ethan, you certainly are tough. Your boys did fantastically today. Go and enjoy the celebrations. Congratulations on a great win. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. I might just try and find the losing captain. He's just walking off the field. Clint, don't go too far. Come back here, Clint. I know you, you can't escape the microphone. Mr. Breeley is giving the boys the run through of the next moment. I'm here with the victorious coach, also co-coach of the mighty 14 A's who are undefeated. You haven't lost a game of footy here at Nudgee yet. You're also now a reigning Queensland Premier champion with the brothers team. How are you feeling after this game? Pretty happy. The boys went out there firing and they just wanted to, to show their worth against their country counterparts. And and really express the way they... Don't mind the spectators here who are showering us in water. Carry on, sorry. Um, and no, I'm really proud of the, uh, the way they went out there and expressed their skill set. Um, I reckon we could have scored another, another 15, 15 points out there if we'd just done the basics well, but good to come away with a win and um, continue that trend going into next week against TSS. Now, some in the crowd here today might not be aware that you're the assistant head of house of Waterford House. The country coach is technically your line manager as head of house. How are the relationships in the dorm going to be after that victory over Tom Copeland? Well, I guess he hasn't won today, has he? So, uh, you know, uh, the city boys have won and uh, he didn't coach them. <laughs> Yep, absolutely. Well, congratulations. You maintain your 100% record here at Nudgee and City's proud tradition. Congratulations. I'm going to make my way over to Mr. Copeland. Mr. Copeland, regrettably, it's not gone your way today. 17-10 defeat. What are your thoughts on the game as we wrap things up right now? That was a pretty solid game, I thought. Um, the City boys showed good skills to shift the ball wide. The country guys showed a bit of heart, which is nice. Um, the City guys left a bit of rubbish in the middle of the field, which we're about to go get. But, um, yeah, very good game all in all. I just mentioned to Mr. Hemapo that obviously the dynamic of the two of you working together in Waterford. What, what, what's that going to be like over the next few days in light of today's result? Brad's usually sleeping anyway, so... <laughs> Should be all right. Um, <laughs> but he's also having a week off in immersion with the year nine boys. So, uh, but yeah, we're good mates anyway. No, you certainly are good mates. Congratulations on all that you did with the country team. Can I ask the spectators here today to please acknowledge both coaches, Brad Hemapo and Tom Copeland, for the great work they've done in preparing our boys today. Well done, fellas. Thank you very much indeed. Just before I hand over to Mr. Breeley to continue the affairs today, standing to my right, for those that aren't aware, is Fabio. Fabio is our recreation officer here, looks after this, the boys and put in a mountain of work. Can I ask us all, please, boys and families alike, please to put your hands together for Fabio for an incredible job that he's done in putting today together. Great job, Fabs. Thank you for all 
that you've done. One last time as well, can I also ask everybody please to put your hands together to thank our two major sponsors, Harry Harry and the Shop Gravesend. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. Can we please recognize and thank our two major sponsors? Thank you so much. Couldn't happen without you. Ladies and gentlemen, I now hand over to our Dean of Boarding and, as I said, the brainchild of City versus Country, Mr. Casey Breeley. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. Another wonderful afternoon for City vs. Country, which just seems to get bigger and bigger every year. Um, congratulations to the City team. Uh, a valiant effort and really well done. Let's give them a round of applause. Now, before we do the presentation of the trophy, which is the most significant presentation, I would like to welcome uh, a member or a representative of each of our sponsors down to collect their jersey. This event really can't run without the support of our sponsors. And realistically, the most important part of this event is us raising money for Rural Aid, uh, which we'll do in just a moment through our jersey auction as well. Um, but first and foremost, I'd like a representative from Harry Harry, the city sponsor, the Cruz family, to come down and collect their jersey. Thank you very much. And of course, we couldn't have done this without the Gravesend shop or the Gravo shop. Uh, so if we get a representative from the Gravesend shop, thank you, Hunter. That'd be great. Please, a round of applause. Very generous. And as I said, in just a moment, I'm going to ask everyone to get into the spirit of the event. Uh, this year, for the first time ever at City vs. Country, we've got a proper auctioneer. Uh, so you're not going to have to listen to my voice for too much longer, which is a relief, I'm sure. Um, and we've got Andrew Mara, who is Stephen Mara's brother, who's come all the way in from Clifton to uh, help us out today, uh, who's going to auction not only the jerseys that I've got on the table, but some special edition jerseys that boys have volunteered to sell off their own backs. Uh, and they're actually full of the blood, sweat and tears from the match that occurred. So please keep your eyes peeled and please be generous. Help us out in selling those jerseys and raising money for rural aid, which is a more than worthy cause. Uh, but before we do that, I'd like the captain of the country team to come out and say a few words. So come on down, Clint Blennerhassett. Um, thanks everyone for coming out. Uh, us country boys tried our best, but uh, didn't succeed. But um, wouldn't be possible without all the supporters coming out and helping and just being here, having a crowd to play in front of is just good. So thanks everyone. Fantastic. And Ethan McNamara, the captain of the city team, can you please come down? There's a call from Dad for a big speech. Oh, yeah, thanks for everyone coming out today and uh, happy Father's Day. And stay around, mate, because we're about to give you the trophy. Well, Ethan, Ethan, you've forgotten something, buddy. Girl, congratulations, City. City team, come out and join him. How'd you come? Okay, without further ado, I'm going to ask Andrew Mara to come down um, and I'm going to stand up and be a bit of a spotter for him. So uh, please dig, dig deep, 
Uh, it's all for the good of rural aid, please. There's some fantastic jerseys on auction here and some on the backs of our boys, which I'm sure will go for big, big money. I'm looking at you, Rambo. Uh, thank you. Oh, thanks very much, Casey, and uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Proper auctioneer. I've done the, I don't think I've ever been introduced as that before, but thank you. It's a great privilege and honour to be here this afternoon. Um, congratulations, boys, on a great, uh, great afternoon of rugby, and well done to the, uh, to the school yesterday and winning against the, uh, the Toowoomba boys. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. We'll offer you um, one from the city and one from the country first. So number, uh, number three from country, uh, from city. Sorry, I reckon it'd still be on one of these boys. Where are you? Here he comes. There we are. If you haven't got enough um, teenage stench at home, you've got one that's just come off the boy's back, so won't it bag up nice? What's your name? Harry. Well done, Harry. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get it moving along. There is number three from Harry there. Should have been worth about 200 and get it started away. 200, 150, 100 I got. Bid one, one only, one only. I hope you've had enough for those stubbies to make you bid up. 100, 100 only. Bid 100 with the lady under the tree. 100, bid 100, don't be so generous. 100, 100, bid 100 with one, one bid. Bid 150, 150, 150 right down. Bid 150, bid 150, bid 150 right down here, you're out, ma'am. Bid 150, bid 150, 150, 150 bid. Bid 150, I'll take the 25s right down. Not the way to shake it. Shake it like the Somerville House Girls, up and down. 150, 150, bid 150. Sorry to your sisters. 150, bid 150. Right down here, here we go. Bid 150 dollars. Here we go. I'll take the 25s quickly around the ring. 150. Bid 150. Right up. Well, here we go. We're going to bail it out. Hold it at 150. Want it quickly? Well done. Goes right down there. Well bought, sir. Right. Oh, just get a name while you're down there, Harry. Right down under the tree. I'm not paid enough to collect it. Right there we are. Lot no, no, next one in will be from the um, the country, which will be number 17. One of the boys got that on. Here he is. What's your name? Luke. Righto, there it is. I don't think it's seen much dirt in action, but there we are. I think it's pristine. There we are. Should have been. Who's got about 200 and get a start away? 200, 150. Start me up, will you, Will? Who get 100 for it and start me up? 100 I got. Bid 100 on the tree. Bid 100. Bid 100. Bid 1, one bid. Bid 100 in the checks. Make no mistake. Bid 1 bid. Bid 1. I'll take the 25s all day there. Bid 100. 100 only. Bid 100. Bid $100. Here we go. Let you on a little one. Here we go. $100 bid. Bid $100. Here we go. Don't all bid at once. Bid 100. Bid $100 in the checks. We're going to bowl it up. All in at 100 Dollars quickly, want it? 25, 125, you're out, ma'am. 125, do it again. 125, bid 125, bid 125, bid 125, we go, start a ma'am's out, we go, bid 125, gonna bail it out. Hold it at 125, uh, want it? All done. Nah, it's gone, that lady there with the uh, with the blue hat. Thank you, ma'am. You get a strip off and give it to her now. Should bring 16 from, from City. Number 16, who's got it on? Here he comes. What's your name? Jim. Sam. Very close. Number 16, there, Sam's got it on once again there. Hey, who's got about 200 against that away? Two, 150 to first and 100 and go. Who got 100 for it quickly anyway? One, one and go. Wouldn't like to come below it there. Still be belly there. Who got 100 for it quickly round? Round the 100. Who got 100? 100 I got. Bid one, one bid. Bid $100, take the 25s all day. One, one bid. Bid $100 down in the seats, make no mistake. Bid 100 in the cheap seats in front, make no mistake. Bid 100. Bid $100, 100 little bid. Bid $100, one bowl bid's going to get the number 16 jersey bear. Bid 100, bid 100, the ball nearly got one. Bid $100, the area in the cap, make no mistake. Bid $100, we're going to bail it out. Hold it at 100, uh, 25, 125, 125. Bid 125, you give up easy. Bid 125, bid 125 in front. Bid $125, here we go. One more, sir. Bid 125, we'll take the 10 of Adelsha. Bid 125, 35. 35, 135, bid 135, ma'am, you're out. Bid 135, right in here. Bid 135, don't miss it. 135, you're out. Bid 50, 150, bid 150, bid 150 with the nice wave. Bid 150, bid 150, here we go, gonna bail it out. Number 16, you get, well, here we go. Hold it at 150, want it quickly, all done. Gone in front. Sunglasses on, there we are, waving. Well done, Sam. 16, that should bring. What are we up to? 16. How many have we sold? Should it be 18. Number 18 from country. Here he comes. What, what's your name? Joe. 
Right, there we are. Joe's jersey, number 18, isn't it? 18. There he is. Not much good with figures. Who have got about two and get a start away? Two, 150. First in at one and go. Who got 100 for it and get a start away? One and go. Who got 100 for it and give a start away? Should be everywhere there. Who's got 100 and go? Who got 100 for it and give us away? We're going to see you there. 100. Start me up, will you, Will? Who's got 100? Joe, you're not very popular, are you? Bid one anywhere. What have I got? 100 in the cap. Bid one. Bid one. Your daughter's trying to run you along. Bid 100. Bid one. She must be keen. Bid 100. Bid one. One bid. Bid one. Bid one. Bid one. One bid. Bid one. I'll take the 25s all day there. 25. 125. Bid 125. 125. 125. 125. 50, 150, 150, Joe, you should be spotting them. Bid 150, out down here. Bid 100, 150, 150, 150, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll take the 10. Bid 160, 160, 160, 160, 70. 70 bid, 170, 170, no you don't know them, 170, bid 170, one more time, bid 170, 170 bid, bid 170 down, 80, 180, 180. 180, bid 180, bid 180, bid $180, here we go, round him up, 200, bid 2, bid 2, bid 2, bid 2, two bid, bid 2, two bid, bid 2, you're coming good late, Joe, bid 2, bid 2, bid 2, two bid, bid $200, here we go, going to bowl it out, hold the bid out here, holding it, 200, uh, want it, quickly, hold well on, uh, he's gone, well done, Joe, uh, the boy's just up here in the middle, that was 18 for country, we'll move back on to... 17 for City, is it? 17. Where is he? 17 for City. Is it on them or is it here? Got the right ones. 17, number 17 from City. Where are you? 17, hey. It's in the change room. Ooh, that won't be pretty. 17, what's his name? Oh, it's not on no one. Hey. Isaac, in the change room, we won't ask what he's doing. There we are, we'll offer you a sight unseen. Should have been worth 200 and get a start away. 250, number 17 from City. Who got 100 and get a start away? 100 and go. I'm sure it'll come back. Bid 100, bid one, one bid. Bid one down here, make no mistake. Bid one, the bid one, one bid. Bid $100 quickly round the ring, one, one bid. Bid $100, here we go, one bid. Bid $100, white light and low there. Bid one, I'll take the 10s all day there. Bid one, bid one, one, one bid. Bid $100, here we go, you can all play there. Bid 100, bid $100, here we go, hold in the cap under the tree will we go holding at 100 uh, want it quickly hold on uh, well bought sir goes the man the white who's collecting this money Casey hope you're taking the records right what do we got now 19 from country is it in the pile there here he comes what's your name mate will Right, there we are, 19 from um, from country. There we are there. Hey, a country jersey, they'd be more collectible than the city ones, I reckon. Hey, what's it worth? Who's got about 200 to get us? Start away. Two, 150. Who's the first in 100 and go? 100 anywhere. Who got 100 goes? Help me up where you will. Who's 100 I got? Bid one, one bid. Bid one, same cap, you're down the other end. Bid one. Bid $100, 100, 100, 100 bid. Bid $100, country jersey you buy here. Bid one, one only. Bid one, bid one, bid one, one bid. Bid $100, here we go, go away, we're going to see you there. Bid $100, right down here, make no mistake. Bid 100, bid one, one bid. Bid $100, here we go, 200 better. Bid two, bid two, bid two, bid two, bid two, two bid. Bid two, still there, 225. Bid 225, 50, 250. Bid 250, bid 250, phones out. Bid 250. Bid 250, bid 250, bid 250, bid 250, bid 250, right it here, bid 250, Marty. Just got you. You're good for it. Bid 250. Bid 250. Bid 250. Bid 250. Right down here. One more time before he goes. Let me go. Bid 250. Here we go. Hold in at 250. Uh, want him uh, quickly. Well done. Goes up there with his glasses on his hat, mate. Marty, is it? Team. Right, that's seven, that's 19 from country. Should leave, uh, oh, the last of the city jerseys to come up. Number 18. 18. Here he comes. What's your name? Hey? Panna. Right, Panna. Right, there we are, the last of the city jerseys, I reckon there. Hey, there he is there, and a good type of jersey it is too. There he is there. Hey, what sort of money is it about two and get a start away? Two. 150. First and 100 and go. Well, shouldn't come below, it should be everywhere. Who got 100 and go? Who got 100 for a slip? 100 I got. Bid one, bid one, bid one. Jack's dad, bid one. Bid $100, one, one, one bid. Bid $100, here we go. Why the discount? They're good jersey. Very clean. Can't even smell it. Bid 100. Bid one, bid one. Bid 100, bid one, one only. Bid one, bid one, 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 one bid. Bid one hundred dollars, I'll take the tens all day there. Are hey, you the last of the city jerseys? Bear in mind, bid one hundred, bid one, one bid. Bid one hundred dollars, we can do no more, can we? See any more? You're not looking. Should be looking. 
Bid one, one bid, bid one, bid one hundred, bid one hundred dollars. Here we go, get a bottle out. Holding at one hundred, uh, hold a bit out of here somewhere. Holding at one hundred, uh, hold on. Uh. Thank you, ma'am. Goes to CTC. Right, should be the last of the jerseys there. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience to work with there. Number 20 from country. 20. Oh, it's in the table. Well done. Who's going to hold it up? That's 22. That's 22. Where's 20? Hey? We're looking for 20. That's 22. Hey? No, we're after 20. That's 22 on the table. It's in the truck. Just sell it. Sell 22. Keep 20. Right, there we are, the 22 jersey. Last of the... Uh Last of the uh, jerseys there. There are there. The 22 jersey there from country there. Hey, what sort of money there is it about 200 units away? Two last country jersey and the last of the jerseys. Bear in mind. Look at 150. First and 100 and go. 100 new west. Start me up where you will. What, what, you want one? 100. Bid one. Bid one. Bid one. I think it's the blind leading the blind. One bid. But $100. 100. One bid. One bid. Bid $100. Here we go. I'll take the tens all day there. Bid 100. Bid 100. But one, one bid. Bid 100. 10. One ten. One ten. But 110. Ladies, you're out. Bid 110. Bid 110. Bid 110, have another. Bid 110, bid 110. Take it out of his pocket money. Bid 110, bid 110, 20, 120. Bid 120, bid 30, bid 130, bid 130, bid 130. Bid pool in and bite together. Bid 130, bid $130. Here we go, one more time. Bid 130, bid 130, 40, 140, 140, 150, 150. Bid 150, ladies, you're out. Bid 150, bid $150, 60. 60 bid, 160 right down, bid 160, bid 160, bid 160 dollars, here we go, one more time, bid 160, you want one sir, 160, 180, 180, round it up, bid 180, bid 180, 200, bid 2, bid 2, bid 2, you've had a lot of fun, you've spent no money, bid 200, bid 2, 20, 220, bid 220, bid 220 dollars, here we go, back with it here, bid 220, bid 220, last jersey sir, bid 220, bid 220 dollars, we're going to buy about one, 40, 1, 240, 240, bid 240, bid 240, have another guzzle of the stubby, bid 240, bid 240, bid 240, bid 240, bid 240, right down here, here we go with a late starter, bid 240, one more time, take the 10, bid 240, 50, 250, 60, 260, bid 260, you're still running second. Bid like the country. Bid 260. 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 Not the way to shake it. Bid 260. Here we go. Hold it right down here. We're going to mile it out. Hold it at 260. Wanna quickly. All done. Well done. Goes the fella down there with the football. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your uh, for your uh, con contribution and your donations. And I'll hand back over to Casey to finish the uh, the speeches off. Thanks, Casey. Perfect. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you for your generosity as a part of that process. As I said, great fundraiser. So please don't feel the need to run off. Have a drink, stay around. It's a lovely afternoon, and uh, we look forward to celebrating with you. City, country, well done, boys. Another great game and another great exhibition of Nudgy boarding spirit. Thank you for coming, and have a wonderful afternoon.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you are lucky enough to win the auction and uh, buy a jersey,